helicopter 66, which will be used to... decontamination swimmer who will be standing on the flotation collar. The decontamination swimmer again is Lieutenant Janky. Those three things that look like balloons on top are in effect that. When it came in with the narrow end underwater, they inflated, and uh, since they're attached to the narrow end, they rose to the surface and brought the narrow end to the top with them and uprighted the command module. Helicopter 66 has gone in, and you can see the Billy Punet descending to the number two life raft now, containing the decontamination equipment. Fresh air tanks, underwater cameras, coveralls, and respirators for the astronauts. Probably because of the heavy wind, the high wind, the, the swimmers will choose to uh, sever the, the basket from the from the line until they have been able to unload this basket, and then send it back up. The same basket will be used to bring up the astronauts quite soon now. Helicopter 66, which will be used to retrieve the astronauts and bring them to the deck of this carrier, is uh, perhaps the most famous helicopter in the world. I'm not sure if we had a contest about that. It has been used to retrieve the astronauts on three previous flights and is being used again. It was used on 8, 11, and, pardon me, 8, 10, and 11. It uh, missed the action on Apollo 9 because that was a recovery in the Atlantic. It's a, uh, I will tell you more about it later. The swimmers now reported that they have the decontamination equipment in the raft and will begin that operation. What will happen now, Peter, is this. The raft will be brought up alongside the command module, and two men will transfer to raft one, while Lieutenant Janky hands the coveralls and the respirators into the astronauts. It will take them three to four minutes to change into those garments. Meanwhile, the other swimmers will stand by to be of assistance in the event they are needed. The astronauts, if they are looking out of their hatch, may be able to see a sign written under the belly of Helicopter 66, a sign that says, Welcome Home, Yankee. That's a variation of Go Home, Yankee, and of course refers to the name of the command module, the Yankee Clipper. I watched the man paint that on uh, the hull of the helicopter last night, Charles. He had to lie down on his back like Michelangelo. <laughs> and uh, he did a good job. 
this uh, this particular helicopter, which has been used three times before, has had two other uh, greetings um, painted on its bottom, which are the first things, more or less, that the astronauts see when they look up through their hatch window. Uh, of course, they had Welcome Home Yankee for this one. Uh, the last time it read Hail Columbia, and the time before that it had Hello Dare Charlie Brown. The whale boat has been lowered over the side of this ship, and uh, there you can see it now, uh, proceeding through uh, somewhat heavy seas. Somewhat. About. Somewhat, Peter. <laughs> the, uh, the crew in life jackets. This whale boat uh, was involved in a somewhat minor accident earlier when there was a man overboard drill on this uh, ship. Uh, one of the members of the crew of the whale boat was rather seriously injured, and after a day or so aboard the carrier, he was flown to a hospital at Pearl Harbor. Now you can see the decon swimmer, Lieutenant Janke, getting onto the flotation collar. Very soon he should be opening that hatch to pass in the coveralls, while his companions, Robertson and Nash and Posey, are, are waiting outside in the other raft upwind to avoid any contamination to them. Speaking as we were a moment ago about things that are painted on Helicopter 66, uh, I think you'll notice when it comes back aboard ship, and surely the camera will pick it up, up at the bow of the helicopter, at the front of the helicopter, when it left the ship, there were three little symbols indicating the three Apollo astronaut pickups in which it has participated. When it returns to the ship, there will be four painted on the side. Actually, it was painted before it left the ship and covered over with paper. And uh, the pilot pulled a string and removed the paper, so when it comes back, it should have four of those emblems on the side. The swimmer at the command module now is pulling in raft number two which may be just a little difficult in the, uh, in the winds he's fighting. He's wearing full scuba gear, as are all of the swimmers, for a couple of reasons. It, um, it will prevent any burns or, or injury to them from fuel residue that might be in the water. The astronauts burned out the residue in their nozzles after the chutes were deployed and flushed out the system, the RCS system, with helium. But now it appears that some residue may have remained. And the oxidizer used to power this module, nitrogen tetroxide, turns on contact with water into nitric acid and is highly caustic. One thing NASA will want to look at is the condition of that parachute to make sure there were no burns on it from acid coming down. The pilot of that number 66 helicopter, incidentally, is the executive officer of the helicopter squadron number four, which is aboard this uh, ship. And uh, he told me that he's been flooded with letters. His name is Warren Ott, by the way, Commander Warren Ott of St. Louis, Missouri. He says he's been flooded with letters from people wanting parts of number 66 as souvenirs. Uh, but Commander Ott says he's sorry. Uh, they want to keep 66 flying for some time. And when its active days are over, someday, 66 will go to the Smithsonian in Washington, where presumably it will hang or set on a pedestal along with Lindbergh's plane and the other historic aircraft. Uh, Commander Ott has been in the Navy for 16 years. He's been checked out in 20 different kinds of aircraft. And he's been uh, through a number of rehearsals of this one. So he knows exactly what uh, he's doing. The junior officers aboard the ship say that they'll give a party for Commander Ott when his job is completed today, but no party for number 66. We might mention those other people aboard, Peter. Lieutenant Junior Grade Glenn Casey is the co-pilot. The chief in the aft section is Ken Cunningham, and uh, the second-class petty officer with him is Abram Dominguez. <coughs> Now, a good picture of decon swimmer Ernie Janke standing on the flotation collar. The other men...
we should be catching sight of the astronauts not too long from now. I haven't heard whether they've actually passed in the garments to them yet. I think they probably have. And uh, just some uh, coveralls that they can slip into rather easily. And some face masks or breathing devices. Not to protect them, but uh, to protect the rest of us this time. In the extremely unlikely event that they brought anything back with them. And we want to catch as much of this uh, transmission from the helicopter pilot as we can. The hatch appears to be open. Closing it now. 